I bet you didn't know at Honest Paint and Speed Shop, we not only work on cars and lawn mowers and snow blowers and uh, whatever else you see us work on. I mean, we also build crazy weird hammers. Now, stick around to see how we got to hear from, you know, basically Chuck. Stick around. Hey kids, uh, Peyton took the night off and I don't blame her, it's 18,000 degrees and uh, equal percent humidity. Um, so I'm just gonna do a couple little things here. My mother-in-law, um, love her to death, she's just awesome, uh, requested that we make her a hammer that she can just uh, tap small nails in uh, around the house and doesn't have to go get a bigger hammer. So I'm gonna try to put something together and see if it works. Um, and then I'm gonna see if I can get this one seat mounted in Clyde here tonight. So our video is gonna be a little bit weird, but um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So first, I think I've got the hammer that I'm gonna plan on. So what we've got is, uh, this was in Clyde as the shifter. So I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna use this in conjunction with some rebar on the handle. And then, since she just wants a little hammer to tap something in, what I'm gonna do is, this is actually part of Clyde's old uh, uh, headlight bracket. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna try to just cut it right here flat, weld the rebar right in here, and tap a tap a tap a tap a little tap 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 a roo. Anyway, so let me get it set up and we'll make some sparks and a bunch of noise and we'll do cool stuff. And if it's not cool, well, you know, you just like and comment anyway, it'd be cool. Right. We constantly get asked if there's anything we need for the shop and I'll tell you right now, what we need for the shop is a bigger shop. So if anybody has one laying around, just, you know, boxed up and uh, send us an email and give you the address because uh, it's a lot of, well, Maybe I cleaned it or something. But anyway, uh, we could use a bigger shop for the shop. Um, in case you're wondering, uh, that'd be cool. But um, what we're going to do is I'm going to finish getting set up and then we'll, uh, we'll do some cool stuff. That literally took 38 minutes just to walk around because everywhere I went, there was something blocking the path. So I had to move stuff. And So anybody get that shop laying around, you let me know. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to... We're gonna try to cut this down, just right here, just nice and flat, so we can, uh, so uh, my mother-in-law can have uh, just a little hammer. It's probably gonna end up going this way, but that's all right, just right here. Um, so we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna get it marked, and then we'll uh, we're gonna do some stuff. Yeah. Uh, necessary items for cutting um, anything oh, with your grinder. Make sure you have ear protection, safety glasses. Let me get some gloves on. Um, and then make sure that, uh, you know, anybody in the shop has, has got hearing protection too, because let's face it, this is loud and nobody wants to be deaf. Um, I mean, I'm not quite deaf, but it's, it's not far off, um, which is, you know, not, not great. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to throw those on the floor because I don't like those. And then I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get these instead. So I'm going to get this thing uh, ready to roll and let's make some sparks up in here. Something to always remember, get the gloves with your name on them, because Arco could take your stuff. All right, let's do some stuff. Always make sure you move your iced tea out of the way so you don't get uh, shavings in it. Here we go, kids. Sparks are fun, kids. 
We're gonna get through this and then we'll get you back in here. That was fun. All right, so this is very hot. So when you do, make sure you do, when you're doing stuff, you don't grab on it, you know, without gloves on and stuff. So it has a, has a hollow end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the end of this rebar off that I'm gonna use for the handle too. And then uh, just that little plug, then I'm gonna weld it in there. And then it'll be a nice uh, hammer and then uh, I'll clean it up after I get it welded. So nice thing about this is that it's uh, really long and awkward and all that cool stuff. So always here to protect your kids. Here we go. are fun but they're also hot make sure you remember that all right let's finish this okay so what we're gonna do now is we've got our welder plugged in our titanium um, from Harbor crate I've got a grinder here with a um, pad paddle wheel you know for sanding uh, for once I get this done and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and all that cool stuff um, so, uh, let's get set to go. All right, we got the welder on. I've got some kind of gloves on. Actually, let me see. Oh, there we go. We're gonna put the good, the better ones on. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just weld this up and, and uh, kind of make Vicky uh, the best hammer we can. Now, First things third. You guys can't even see. All right, so boom, look at that. Now you're just gonna hear me talking. So first things third, we're gonna try to get in here and see what happens. Here we go. Uh oh. I think we got a bad ground, kids. Let's try that again. All right, so what we're gonna do now that we've got, we're gonna fill in a few more spots and then we're gonna kinda get that grinder over there and see what happens. Put that the right way so it doesn't look dumb. All right, so now that it's like that, I'm gonna get the old grinder plugged in and then we're gonna, you know, grind that down and see what kind of hammer we got. Stand by. 
this paint. Toby she doesn't like the grinders that when you let off the button, they don't stop. So I'm going to be using uh, the corded one and uh, not the cordless one right now. So uh, I'm going to finish getting set up and then we'll do some stuff. The one thing I can tell you is this corded, corded one does way better than uh, the cordless one. It's just, you know, faster and gets down a lot easier. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this one and then, uh, you know, maybe we'll have a hammer. Stand by. Okay, so I've made a hammerish shape. It's right there. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect, but you know what? This is basically just going to pound little nails in uh, um, the wall. I hang pictures and stuff, so I don't think it needs to be super duper heavy duty. So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to figure out uh, kind of a handle length, and then I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to try to weld this thing together. And let's not forget, Vicky's getting the knuckles. All right, kids, stand by. All right, I proceeded to kick everything, knock everything down, and, you know, um, almost start myself on fire, maybe. I did not do one of those. Anyway, so here's the scoop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get, we're gonna kind of get this set up as a, for an ID for a handle uh, length, and then we're going to, uh, we're gonna cut this thing off. I'll get you back in here once we get that done. That looked like it was coming right at you. It was like 3D. So Vicky kind of told us we could do whatever we want, and I'm pretty much doing that. So um, now I'm ready to kind of weld the head on, or tack the head on there, and kind of see what it's going to do. And hopefully it's not completely jacked up. If it is, I can just cut it off or something. Um, anyway, so here we go. Looks like I got it even squarish on there. Let's do this. Oh, not not wrapping cords and throwing things and you know, this isn't okay. That's better, here we go. Holy cat pajamas, it's working. So let's kind of get this thing propped up so I can actually see it. And then let's, let's do some stuff. Here we go. All right, that looks goodish so far. Uh, oh, wire brush. Let's take a look. What we got? Ooh, that's hot too. In case you're wondering, it's hot. All right, so what I'm gonna do is gonna fill that up, and then we're gonna clean it off. And then we're gonna put those knuckles on there for Vicky, in case uh, I don't know, if their dog gets online or. She needs to punch that nail in there. I don't know. Something like that. 
It'll be fine. That was bad. Hope you guys didn't see that. Bad news. Here we go. Just got a couple more zip zip to do, and then we'll be, uh, I don't know, doing some other stuff, hopefully. Here we go. That's too long, so we gotta, you know, cut it off here, like this. Ooh. All right, we just got like three spots. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna finish those up and then we'll uh, we'll show you. Let me get those knuckles on this thing. I mean, business with this hammer. All right, so Vicky's gonna, she said I can do whatever I wanted, so guess what? That's what's happening. Well, hopefully this works. You gonna do the thing with the stuff and you know, like that. You gotta zing it on here. Hopefully it's lined up pretty good -ish. <laughs> that kids, I'm going to finish this up and then we'll give you a better tour of it. All right, I'm gonna clean those up, then we'll show you. Okay, so um, I've got one last thing to do on this guy, and that's just to make a little point. Just right there. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll let you watch, and I'll try not to bonk anything around more than I already have, and then we'll, uh, we'll show you the project.
I think you guys got the general idea. So when I'm done, I'll show you. All right, one more step. We're gonna do a little wire brushing um, on the uh, on the hammer, and then uh, I'm gonna show you. I just want to clean it up a little bit. Okay, kids, it's done. Um, you've all heard of Thor's hammer, right? Well, this is Clyde's hammer. This piece right here was off of one of his uh, headlight stands that we cut off because gross, right? Um, I did fill it in. Uh, I've got a, a flux core, so you know there's some voids because you know flux doesn't stick to the, everything else. So um, there's that. Uh, these were actually on Clyde shifter. Took them off uh, as soon as I could because let's face it, I couldn't shift the car. I used a piece of rebar we just had laying around. I, uh, I uh, cleaned it up and then I actually wire brushed it, uh, and then I put some matte clear coat on it. Um, so it's been clear coated. It shouldn't rust uh, right away. I guarantee nothing because you know um, Not a not a thing that we do here but uh, And then just for fun Put a spike on the bottom Just in case someone in the house or whatever gets unruly, you know that nail that she's pounding in the wall tap 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 You know give the old World War one skull buster kind of deal but uh, this this was a blast. Um, she told me I could do whatever I wanted. Um, so I, I literally did. I, I found some chunks of junk. You know, this was junk. This was definitely, I'm surprised I didn't throw this away. Um, but it was all junk, and then except for the rebar, because the rebar actually had a purpose, but uh, <laughs> now I got cut up. Um, I did plug this end with some rebar and, and filled it in. So it does have, you know, it should, you know, pound a small nail in. I did fill the end up there, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely hammerish, right? Um, she said she just wanted us to make a hammer for uh, her to just do little things around the house so she didn't have to do anything. Um, she, uh, she did get a preview of it while, we, while she was here. Uh, she was dropping some stuff off and she, is, she might keep it in a, in a car. So that's probably why I put the, you know, little spike on there. Maybe if you have to, an emergency or, you know, a really pigeon or something, you know, pigeons I tell you. Anyway, this was a super fun project. I'm glad you guys watched. There was a lot of noise, a lot of, you know, not a lot of talking, but it was super fun. I'm glad we did it. Um, just got some matte clear coat on there. I put a couple coats on there um, on, on one that was about gone, so it worked out perfectly. Um, but yeah, I don't think it uh, looks too bad. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's a little art project, basically, you know, it's, but it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, it's definitely uh, Clyde's hammer, you know, not not Thor's hammer, because let's face it, uh, pretty much anybody can pick this up. But uh, yeah, it was a good time. Um, glad you guys hung around. Uh, you know what, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm not gonna get after Clyde's interior. It's uh, definitely got hot in here, you know, with the welding and grinding and being a billion and a half degrees out there. So, you know, don't forget to subscribe to us. If you want to see something on one of the cars, uh, you know that we're going to be doing some stuff on uh, Troublemaker here soon. Um, we got to get it ready for the show. We got about three weeks. Um, and uh, I don't foresee a whole lot of dents uh, being pounded out, maybe a few, but we really need to start kind of putting it together, tucking things back, you know, maybe running some running the wiring out the back so you can at least see the tail light where it's going to be and you know kind of give you a general idea what the cars look like um and maybe i'll even put the firewall in probably not all right so that'll do it for tonight i will have to do something with clyde next time this took a little bit longer and this was so much fun that i i don't really want to crawl underneath that old uh smelly car but um yeah i uh, hope you have a great night